So in this video, we're going to look at how you can create a GIF and then embed it into Jamboard for the purpose of having a scrolling um, animation of keywords for a topic. So the first thing we're going to go to do is we're going to come into Google Slides here and I'm going to change my page setup. I'm just going to move myself out of the way here. I'm going to come to File, Page Setup. Uh, I'm going to keep it widescreen, but I'm going to go custom. And instead of it being 14 centimeters, I don't want it to be that deep. I only want it to be seven. So we've got a nice narrow bar there. Okay. And then I'm just going to grab a shape uh, and I'm going to use the rounded edge one, which I quite like just because it looks quite slick. And we're going to do that. And then the background, I'm going to click on the background option. And we're going to look to change the color there to transparent. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is include text into this particular box. So I'm just going to edit the text and we're going to include some key terms. So uh, for this particular lesson, we might be looking at something to do with um, science. So we're going to have temperature. And then we're just going to increase the size of that word until we're happy. So possibly something around about the 150 mark, maybe a little bit smaller, maybe 120. Uh, okay, let's go with 100. And it's just about finding one that suits you. Uh, and then we're just going to center that. We make sure we've got a nice, easy font to read. So we could, if we want to help out our uh, students to find things a little bit more difficult, we might look to use things like Lexend or something like that. Um, but basically, we want something that's nice and easy to read. And actually, um, Vedana is quite a nice one. Okay, so temperature sits in there. We can give it a color if we want in the background, so we can just make it stand out a little bit more. I might use the gradient tool to do that, and maybe something like that. And then because of that, possibly make the text white. Okay, so I've now got my first slide in my, that is gonna be part of my GIF or GIF. I'm a hard G person, some people not. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is create a duplicate slide and just this time change the word. So instead of temperature, we might have state. And then we're gonna do the same again, a duplicate, and we might have solid. Uh, and do the same again, duplicate, and maybe liquid. And same again. Gas. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that for the moment. And we're just going to give this a title. Let's just call this Science GIF. Oops, there we go. Now I'm going to use a tool now called Oh, sorry, an add-on called Creator Studio. So if I go to Creator Studio here, I've got the option to create a GIF. It opens up in my side sidebar over here. And I'm going to give it a nice round number of 500, and I want it to change every three seconds. So only short words. Uh, and it just says animated GIF there, and I'm going to go. It creates that in the side there. I get the option to download or to preview. So let's just preview that. Here we go. So there it is. And we can see it's changing. So I'm going to download that. It downloads to my files. I'm not worried about copying it to the clipboard. So I'm going to close that. And I'm going to close those as well. I'm going to open up my jam here. You can see I've already got one in here, which is a, a number counting down. And the way I've done that is quite simply. Just move that. So come here to add image. Select the files from my device. And it's the science GIF. Upload it into my jam board. Position it wherever I like. Size it however I like. And for example, if we are using this as a whiteboard from the lesson, then the key terms that I want to use all the way through are now 
being scrolled across the top to remind the students of those keywords and also the spellings of them to make sure they include the right information. Whether that's in class or online, really, really useful to use. And as we can see, I'm out of time.